let's do the update. So the update is going to be much like the create in the way that it works. And we're going to update item and set name is equal to name where item ID is equal to item ID. And now we prepare again the SQL statement and we have to execute it with the name and a second key value pair which is going to be the item ID. Sorry about that. Okay, item ID. And then we use the row count. So as long as we modify the object in our method, in our controller method, and then invoke update, it should update just fine. So let's go back to our home controller and make a public function edit. And again, let's have it use the item ID. Now, much like the previous, we need to get the item before we can do anything. And much like create, we are going to have two branches. Now, for this edit view, we will need to pass the item in the view so that we can see the data we want to modify. And then when we do pose the form, we want to record to the object the changes that we're making and then update the database based on these changes. Okay, so let's make a view which is appropriate for this. And we're going to use the create view here again as our template. Because in this case, it's very, very appropriate. Okay, so this is going to be edit.php. And now we want to edit an item again the form action is going to go to the same action and we want to be changing the name and then submit and then save changes right the only difference is we want to actually display the value in the text box so here we're still going to use the shorthand uh, php output data name okay so we're supposed to output the current name in this field and then if we save the changes it's all good and we can also cancel the transaction cancel the change if we want to so back to our home controller this is the edit method we also need to add a hyperlink in our index so let me get rid of a few tabs here Okay, so as we did here, we will add another hyperlink. Let's just clean this up a little bit just for to be able to visualize. So edit with this item ID, edit. All right. Hopefully everything works out. Let's see this example. Okay, you have a second in action, which is edit. So I want to buy four liters of milk. Save changes. There we go. It is modified. 
and uh, I want to edit my potatoes. I want to get 10 pounds. See if it changes. Okay, perfect. It works out. So going back again to our item, which we will find eventually by closing an appropriate number of tabs. There you go. Item. So we did create, read, update, and now what's left is delete. Public function delete. Okay. There's any number of ways you can do this. Um, I'm going to use the object again, and I'm going to use the same pattern as above. So I'll change this update to delete from item where item ID is equal to item ID. Prepare the SQL. Send in only the item ID. I can use the item ID from the object, but it would be easy to modify this so that we use the item ID, uh, which would be passed in a parameter, a bit more efficient. But you know, for the sake of it being consistent in this case, I'll just show it like that. Okay, so we have the model. Let's go to the controller and make the delete method public function delete and again item ID we will pass in so much like the edit method we want to present the item to be the deleted just to get confirmation that we want to delete this item and then there's no sense in modifying this item we will simply call the delete on it before we redirect it to the index. Okay. So let's save this. And now we need to have a view for this delete to present and get confirmation. So we could use the same form as the edit form. Let's take this and let's make another view here save this delete php and i'll paste my edit i'll delete an item again post i'll show the name now the difference is i don't want to have a modification of the data. So I'll just disable the input here and I'll give the choice of deleting or canceling. Okay, so we have the view here and let's add a hyperlink to delete. Delete the item delete save this so we have the delete in our model we have the delete view and the hyperlink in the index and we have the delete method in our controller let's try it out so let's say I bought the milk I'll click on delete I don't want to delete it I'll go back I will restrain, refrain from buying cookies. Oh, the disable did not work. Disabled. Ah, now it is disabled. I'll delete the cookies. And there we go. I'll delete the pizza. There we go. So there you have it. We've implemented all of the create, read, update, and delete methods that are needed in a model class. 
and we've also created all the view types that are necessary to support these operations as well as the uh, controller methods. So thank you very much for watching and have a good day.